Hello, there's a little video on repairing a Volvo C70 seat belt. There's not a huge amount of detail in this video, but hopefully I can uh, give you a couple of pointers to make the job a lot easier. So I've already removed and repaired my belt. Um, start by, I'm not sure you, yeah, remove this here. I've popped the back seat out. Okay, there's just two front mounting points here. You have to pop that up. You get in side here by popping these out here lifting up a little bit I haven't taken the panel right out you don't need to uh, remove the cover take off the top mount um, and basically anyway once you've got the, the mechanism out from in here there's another I think they're 14 mil socket uh, disconnect your earbag first unclip the, the earbag point so you want to take a negative battery terminal off before doing this, okay, on your car. Take out the belt. Now, on the belt, you'll see a cover like this. On one side, remove that. And you'll be looking at the clock spring. Now, this took me a couple of hours to work out. And I did read a few things online, but basically what you need to do, my one was really dirty, so I got a lot of the gunge out of there and I put some silicon in there and some uh, mechanical oil just to keep that nicely lubricated. Now, the key to this is that at the end of the spring, there's a little hook and it hooks onto the bottom of this white piece here. Now this piece here, you can lift it up a half amount and at that point you can twist it and tighten the tension up on the spring. Okay, you can lift that out, but what, what I did is I actually took that white piece right out and using one hand to push down to stop it springing out, I used my stronger right hand to wind that spring, okay? Wind that spring, wind that spring, wind that spring, and you get to a point where you'll see like five of these loops here, okay? Five or six is how many you want, and then you can... Um, half put the white piece on okay at that point you can still twist it but it's not affecting the square shaped nut that's underneath okay and once you push that down it's locked on in there and then you're good to put the cover back on and um it'll the spring will be under tension and you should be able to you can sort of check it as you're going by pulling the seat belt out and you want to make sure that before you put it back in, you've got a good 50 or 60 centimeters of um, rewind power in there. Uh, I'm sorry, this isn't the greatest video. There's another guy who has a few photos of removing the belts on the Matthews Volvo site. But the most important thing, if you're trying to rewind your spring, is working out how this bit latches on underneath the white piece and how you wind that several times before popping it back into place and putting the cover on. Hope this helps you, good luck.